All right, guys, we're the next biggest thing here, the biggest boutique in Orange County. We're going to own a official storefront with 250 or 270 square feet. Yeah. So it's pretty big enough, pretty much like a store. Um, and it's a really good price. And then we have storage in the back, which is the back doors right there. I wonder if that's going to be a problem, like, going into their storage, because it's going to be in their space. Did they recycle that? What? But they can't use that wall? Okay, let's watch. Like, let's say you have a space right there, right? Yeah. But the fact that they, people are going to be going through your stuff to go... To their storage? Yeah. Like, I would be pissed. Like, if I ran in their booth and people kept coming into my... Well, the point is that that's also going to be... They have storage there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. so they shouldn't be pissed because they also have storage. So that's true. So our storage is going to be inside there with more clothing and then we can meet up with people. And we'll have the, like our own private dressing room for people. To and we'll have private um, dress rooms. Yeah, dressing room. Here she says, right? She yeah. says, here with me. Say hello. Um, so I'm excited for everybody. I um, haven't posted in a while, so I do apologize. We've been very busy and this is, this is going to take up a lot of time. So we have to invest a good amount of time and into gift stuff. And we have so, a month or so to get ready? Yeah, so we're gonna put shelf cases there, um, vintage shirts on top, like some really nice high-end ones, um, and then... Racks, maybe a center island. Racks, and then probably a, maybe a front booth, maybe a small one, like a little desk, or a little showcase where I can sit and talk to you guys. We'll keep you guys updated. But there's a bunch of booths, a lot of them are already taken. A lot of these are still available. The small ones are available. Um, but they'll probably be gone in a few weeks, maybe in a week. Um, so it's crazy. Damn, this one's oh, this one's multiple, right? Yeah, yeah. there's like multiple ones. So There'll be, be a lot of small ones. They're even running on tabletops for people that do like jewelry and stuff. Like that. Yeah, that's crazy. So it's crazy, guys. Um, there's some there are those are the few contender, uh, contenders that we liked. Um, let's go walk around so we don't block them. Um, yeah, there's. A, oh yeah, someone did buy this huge. What? Holy crap! <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, this could be. Um, someone did. Uh, they bought up this like. Whole they bought here. this whole section. Right? Oh my god, that is amazing. That's beautiful. Holy yeah. moly! Wow. Yeah, this one. This one was three thousand dollars a month. Um, but they got all this. This show kit, this show floor is amazing. Holy moly, it is gorgeous. Um, so someone got this one. Um, there was another one that we were looking at, which I'll show you guys. Um, I'm gonna cut the video really quick and I'll start over. All right, guys, we're back. So there was like these with small ones. I did want something like this a little bit because you kind of play with it, but it's kind of small. But if we had no option, we would have just taken it. Uh, this was the second one that I liked. Um, but then you think about it, it's not a lot of space. I mean, there's, it's spacious. You can work with it, but I probably wouldn't be able to sit here. And then we got to use this as well. And like all it's that already stuff. pre-installed, so it's kind of hard to work around. Yeah, I think it's cool. I would have put that. I would have kept that. I would have put like some really high-end stuff up there. Like little baton bags. Ooh, it's scary. You could probably do it the other one. But I would just bring them that night with my that day that I'm there. Yeah. Um, that was that. And then the last one that I really did like was in the storefront where you can come in and it would be right here. And then we have the cash register right here. So this one I did like a lot. This one was really cool. It's nice. Uh, pretty big. Uh, is that going to be a cash is that is that a booth or is that gonna be like cash as well? That's crazy. Let's see. So this one is another one. Oh yeah, someone already got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you see, that would have been cool. That's a cool like to be in the back, and then you have all this like with clothing. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! But it looks like there's like four, five vendors. Here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, so it's in front of, it looks like multiple people. It's gonna be their bar. They're gonna be serving. Uh, they're gonna be opening a restaurant upstairs. Oh. And then they're gonna be serving beer and wine, and you can walk around the store with beer yeah. and wine. 
That's crazy. Hey, that's our boo. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. We're going to talk to the lady, and we're set to go. What's up, guys? Good morning. I know it's been a very, very long time since we made a video, but, of course, we've been very, very busy with a new store coming out this coming uh, week. We've been prepping, and we've been very, very busy with everything pricing um you know our one year lease everything inside a mall so if you guys want to check it out that's going to be the new location um it is going to be a storefront but also it's a boutique with a bunch of other stores um and just like i said we've just been very very um busy with claim sales all kinds of stuff going on so i haven't made any videos but i thought i'd share this because this store is going to have a lot of vintage um modern and you know luxury stuff video games toys collectibles luxury bags shoes sneakers jackets clothing vintage everything you got it you i mean everything i'm telling you guys is going to be in this store um so it's a it's a huge diff uh huge huge difference a uh, huge huge adventure um and we're gonna have to see how it goes so i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of everything how everything's coming along and i'll show you guys my mega booth um, or storm because I will be here on the weekends uh, during holidays. So not that far from the holidays, they did postpone um, the store. It was supposed to open this Saturday, but since we haven't got all the paperwork done for the city, um, it's going to be postponed. So I'm going to show you guys everything and how everything's coming along, and let's go check it out. All right, so this is everything. So pretty much we got some new shoes. We got the new Dunks uh, vintage clothes. We got some more stuff because we got a new rack, and then we got new shelves. Uh, because we couldn't get the table, but uh, I'm gonna go show you guys the inside and uh, let's get inside Let me lock my car And then uh, let's go show you guys the inside I'm not sure if they're okay with me recording um, Especially since there was a lot of restrictions on a lot of stuff, but I uh, will see what's up And uh, Yeah oh, Shit's heavy all right, guys, I might need my two hands here because I need to pick this thing up and I'm going to get in that guy's way. So I'll get some footage right now. All right, guys, so we're here. Here we go. So you can tell there's a lot of people with a lot of booths here at the mall. I was debating this one, too, but it just kind of seemed off. Here's some small ones. And then here's mine. Humongous. Yep. Orange Circle Vintage. <laughs> yeah, this is our new storefront right here, guys. So here's my uh, my booth. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to pull this in because I don't want anybody getting... I think we should be fine. Um, you know what? Let's go in. So let's go show you guys some previews. So everything's tagged. And look, you can tell some already went to the closed. I'm trying to see what, they, what I got, I guess. Um, I got some Dr. Martens, Ninja Turtles. Looks like... That's odd. It's usually like those figures, they wouldn't fall if someone tried to open it, but they fell, so I'll look into that right now. Um, yeah, we got the shoes, some high-end shirts up there, some grail, some of my personal stuff that I that um, that I put up here because I lost a lot of weight, so, my, so a lot of these shirts just got a little too big on me, especially the Darth Maul one, but uh, we're going to put some sneakers up here. The new ones that we just got yesterday. Pants, shirt, looking good. We got two authentic um, Louis Vuitton bags. This is a messenger bag f uh, for men or women. And same for that one over there. Uh, we got the Coach collab with Naruto, Dr. Martin bag. And just some really cool stuff. And then of course I do have a back storage, which I'll show you guys. So like I said, we're almost complete. I want to say we're like about 80% done. We're 20%. There's going to be a door here soon. And then my storage unit is going to be in here. So, just to, you know, kick up. This is somebody else's. Um, you pretty much can't see, but they haven't been doing much here lately. But a lot of these people are already done. So, really cool. It's going. It's coming out great. Um, but yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Big, big difference. Um huge store and just and then the mall is right here so the entrance is right there 
So if I show you guys, it's pretty insane. There you go. So that's the entrance of the store. Pretty cool. Very excited. Right in the center. Um, and we will, we will, we will be selling uh, brand new and pre-owned um, shoes. Like I said, we're gonna have collectibles, video games. We have an N64. We have a Genesis. Um, I'm planning on having a Game Boy soon. I gotta clean it up and have it ready for display. But don't have many more showcases, so it's gonna be a little hard until I sell some stuff first. So let's see how that goes. And everything's really well priced. Um, so yeah, let me get to work, and then I'll keep you guys updated and see how it, how it looks after after. Because we're gonna put some of these um, boxes right here for more displays and tables to put some like vintage magazines so people can go through it, and then some clothes right in the center. More clothing, more, probably more sweaters if anything, because it's getting cold like crazy out here. So yeah, guys, super stoked that I you know share this with you guys, and uh, we'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, we just came in, restocked all the TMT bunch of brand new Star Wars figures all these are brand new then we got some rare figures in there um, it's a lot of cool stuff they were bringing in for the holidays I know stuff is gonna get crazy I might have to drop price these on these because my wife priced these um, they're just not moving they were moving before but not anymore um, but we just put a bunch of vintage t-shirts um, some toys up there see how that goes and some vintage Disney frames the TMT frame some cool stuff it's doing great so been focusing on the booth since the new store is opening uh, hopefully soon but since we're in purple stage for COVID um, let's see what happens but uh, yeah let's see what see how it goes and then there's Swan's booth he's doing pretty good actually let's go check out this one booth I've been able to score a lot of cool stuff from him Especially vintage t-shirts, but Looks like he's selling stuff actually Some cool stuff damn he sold it all oh. I wish it was the rare ones, but just your regular version it's Still pretty cool though Transformer some vintage Those model kits are figures from uh, Macross. I think they're model kits. <laughs> but yeah, man. This guy has some cool stuff every once in a while. He needs to restock. Alright. But I notice a lot of people are selling vintage clothes now. From what I've seen. It's been pretty gnarly. And this guy always has cool stuff. But it's just like random vintage. No, it's not. Um... Selected, I guess you would say. Let's see what's up. It's got that old school look to it. Alright, guys, pretty much it. Alright, we'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, we're right here at the antique station. Just filled it up with a bunch of goodies. Put a bunch of new Star Wars, some Transformers, some knickknacks here and there. A bunch of t-shirts. I just gotta bring some bigger stuff up here in the corner. Uh, see if I have any cool blushes. But overall, we've been doing pretty damn good this week. Just put some Cabot Batch kit cards. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to come check it out. Some cool stuff. On the cheap cheap and some things. Yeah. Awesome. And pretty decent, I would say. Alright, we're gonna go head out. Alright, guys, so we're here at the shop. I'm bringing all this stuff uh, back to ref pretty much stuff it as back stock. Um, got security tags for the new st uh, for the antique stores. I just gotta wait for the uh, one of the mechanisms that removes it. And then we got some collectibles that we're gonna bring in today. Um, just grow toys uh, for one of the sections. And uh, let's go inside. Um, we just got purple. Um, oh, California's in the purple section. Um, thank God the, the malls are not closed yet. So, But I know the gyms will be closed by tomorrow. Um, so this can be a good thing or a bad thing. Things could get worse where 
we don't know what's gonna happen but uh i'll keep you guys updated and see what happens i'm gonna bring more stuff um and i get to the point where like i might have to take stuff out just to sell to make some money because i invested the majority of my money in here and it's a lot of money so but uh And that's it's very nice out here. Looks good. A lot of people are done already. I know she just covered up her stuff. Makes sense. She doesn't want people going through her stuff. I've been thinking the same. I can tell people have been going through my stuff already, which is not good. Wow, that's cool. Check that out. Is it me? Is there a glare? There you guys go. I think my camera was fucked up. Oh, this is the other guy that uh, I'm not sure if he has prices yet. You would think he had prices by now. But doesn't know how to do it. But <laughs> um, I know it could be a pain in the ass, but um, yeah, everything should be good to go. This person's got a long way to go. Um, we have our neighbors getting their stuff ready to go, everything's good. I've been getting a lot of great feedback. People have been trying to buy stuff, but um, you know, nothing's for sale yet. But here it is, guys. Everything's pretty much done, set to go. Here's our logo. I'll bring this in. So all that girl stuff, I think I'm gonna put on either this side. Um, I'm gonna tape this down because it keeps swerving this way. And then um, this side. So I messed up that one, but I'm gonna fix it myself. Um, probably today, if anything. Uh, but um, that's cool. I got mine on my veneer. Right there, size 11. And then um, these have skyrocketed. They're pretty much already hitting the $400 range, which is great. And it was gonna be a great investment. Um, but everything's looking good, guys. And then the lights turn on and everything. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty excited for you guys. Like I said, I have a lot of inventory, a lot of stuff, a lot of money sitting on. But you know, if anything, we can always sell them online and uh, make some sales. Those are cool, man. The coach ones got a little bit on authent um, authenticated. These two bad boys. Yeah, those looking great. I'm excited. All vintage stuff, one side. So I'm hoping down the road I'll be able to do sneakers on both ends, maybe even the other side, if I get to that point. Uh, but right now we have that, Dr. Martens, I mentioned Dr. Martens, some made in the UK or in London. Uh, but yeah guys, all right, let me go get this stuff sorted out and then I'll make a video of one in a few minutes.